This is our 2022 roundup of the best royalty-free stock music sites for YouTube videos. We're gonna cover the top free stock music sites right through to the pro level paid subscriptions. And make sure to stick around to the end to hear which tools we use here at Primal Video. Now, as we're going through, scroll down and let me know in the comments, what's your favorite stock music site right now and why? Now there's so many different places that you can get music to use in your videos, but you'll really wanna make sure that you're using legitimate music, music that you have the correct license to be able to use in your videos so that you're not having any copyright claims or copyright strikes either immediately or into the future as well. So this is something that you really wanna be careful with. You'd hate to have a video blow up, go viral, and then find out later that you're in breach of copyright and that you don't make any money or that video gets suppressed and that people can't then see it. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of free options and then move into the paid options, which I'd recommend, which make the whole licensing thing much easier. So the first option is YouTube itself. YouTube does give you access to a free audio library where you can download and use those audio tracks and sound effects in your YouTube videos. You can access it in your YouTube studio dashboard area by scrolling down to audio library. And in there up the top, you can switch between music and sound effects. You can also search through and filter that library to really help you find the tracks that you're after. And you can easily see the length of the track or sound effect written there as well. Now with the YouTube audio library, it is important to note that there are different licenses for different tracks. Some of them will require you to give attribution or to credit the music or sound effect creator. I mean, that's not a bad thing to do anyway, but some of them will actually require you to have it in the video itself. So you definitely need to be aware of what your licensing requirements are so that you are compliant and not in any breach. But you can easily see what's required on an individual track by track basis before you download it. The other thing to be aware of is that these tracks are licensed for YouTube only. So if you are gonna be creating a video or a piece of content that's going to be on multiple platforms, then this might not be the best pick for you. Two other options to check out for free music is Free Music Archive and Tune Tank. Both of those have a really decent music library. Again, make it easy for the whole licensing and being compliant thing telling you if and how you need to credit the artist, but also that they make it easier for you to find the tracks that you're looking for. The search and the categorization is more refined. Now, one really quick tip before we get to the paid stuff, I would strongly recommend that you are making note or saving on your computer where you are getting these files from so that if there is any issue down the track, that at least you know this particular music track came from this platform. So at least you've got a record of it so that you're not trying to find everything later. Or if you're looking for similar music, then maybe you can check out more tracks from that artist as well. So future you. Well, thank you. So now with the free options out of the way, we're gonna take a look at the paid, the more professional options. Now, generally what you'll find with the paid options versus free is that you've got a far more refined search experience. You'll also find that the licensing is next level. It's so much easier to track and to manage everything and to make sure that you are compliant and using the right tracks or the right attribution for the videos you're creating. Now, in terms of the pricing models, some of them out there will give you a track by track basis. Others are a monthly or an annual subscription, and some of them are a monthly annual subscription for unlimited access to their entire library, which make it all really, really easy. Now, personally, that's something that I'm a big fan of. I love the idea that I can just pay once per year and I've got unlimited access to a library of music and sound effects that I don't need to keep coming back in and checking the price of everything or worrying if I'm using too many or not enough. So with all of that said, there's a lot of options out there when it comes to paid music sites. I've spent so much time researching, trying and testing all the top options, and I've narrowed it down this year to three top options for paid music sites. And one of them even lets you use legally commercial music, like the stuff that you hear on the radio. So make sure you stick around for that one. So option number one is Artlist. This is one that we've spoken about a lot on this channel. I'm a big fan of Artlist. I just love how easy they make everything. They've got a decent size library of over 18,000 songs. The search functionality and the categories to navigate through and find the tracks that you're looking for is really, really refined and super simple. And that's something that I think is so important because if you've ever tried to actually go and find a perfect song, you could literally spend hours or days in some cases looking for it. So I love the search functionality. I love how everything is categorized up in Artlist. It does make that whole process of finding music really, really simple. But also in terms of the licensing, they also make that super simple. You can pretty much use your Artlist tracks almost 
anywhere. And when you combine that with their unlimited access plans, it makes it a really, really great option. Again, for simplicity. So in terms of the pricing, they say they have the best license in the world. You have access to unlimited music and sound effects, unlimited downloads, and a lifetime license. And they've got two different plans to choose from. You can jump on a personal plan, which says it covers all of your social channels. And you can see those listed out here. You've got all the main ones. And that starts at $9.99 per month if you're paying annually, or $14.99 if you're paying month to month. Or you can choose the unlimited plan, which is the one that we're on, giving you again that flexibility that you can use these tracks pretty much anywhere, even in commercial projects or client work as well. And that one costs $16.60 per month, billed annually. And if you wanna try it out, there is a free sign up as well, and we'll have a link down in the description. Option number two is Epidemic Sound. Now this is another one that we've been talking about a lot on this channel, another one we're big fans of. Just like Artlist, they make it very simple for the licensing, the search and the categorization on all of the files is really, really simple. I say probably the interface on Artlist platform is a little more refined and a little simpler, but Epidemic Sound does have some cool extra features in there as well, again, to help you find the perfect track. One of those is EAR or Epidemic Audio Reference. And basically it lets you search and find similar music to other music tracks. So if you've already found some music that you've used before or music that you like, then you can use this EAR tool to help you find more. There's also a mobile app, which I think is absolutely awesome if you're gonna be creating videos on the go as well, or even just for finding music to use in your Instagram stories or Reels or something not YouTube related. It's so awesome to have the app on your phone and to be able to easily find and download tracks to use in your videos and social media posts. Now, Epidemic Sound does have a larger music library as well, currently with over 35,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects too. And you can access not just the music tracks in their entirety, you can also access stems and different versions of the music tracks too. So if you're someone who wants more control over the music that you're adding to your videos and you'd like to be able to change things up a bit, then that can be really powerful for you. Now in terms of pricing, you've got two options. The first is to jump on their personal plan for $9 a month, build annually, which again will give you the unlimited downloads, use on the popular social media platforms and the ability to monetize that content using those videos for one channel per platform. The other option is their commercial plan for $19 per month billed annually. This is where you're covered for, they say, your social media, your online platforms and websites. You can publish content for your clients and businesses. So if you are doing this as a profession, this makes that really, really easy. And you can also use these tracks and sound effects in digital ads as well. Now, if you do wanna use these in TV shows or TV ads, ads or commercial streaming, then that's where you have to request a quote to find out more about their enterprise plan. So not quite the flexibility that you get with Artlist and it's use it anywhere policy, but depending on the videos you're making, it may not make a difference to you. And option number three is Licked. The only place that you can access 1 million chart topping tracks and high quality stock music. So Licked actually let you use legally commercial music, the stuff you hear on the radio in your video content. Now this is something that I was pretty skeptical when I first heard about it, because I've actually gone through the process of trying to license commercial music to use in corporate projects and documentaries and things, and it's an absolute nightmare. So I love that this service is legitimately making this whole process of you wanting to use the music that you want to use and that your viewers know and will recognize in your videos and making that whole process super simple. So to give you an idea of these tracks, you can see we've got things like Glass Animals, Sean Paul, Dua Lipa, David Guetta. But there's also artists like Offspring. Oasis, the dreams we have as children to fade away. and even Roxette. But it's also not just commercial music, they also have a library of royalty-free music in there too. Now how Licked is able to license out copyright music to you is that they're working directly with the record labels themselves and with YouTube. So when you create an account with Licked, you actually link it to your YouTube channel as well so they can manage the licensing piece on your behalf. So the process is fully automated for most of the tracks on there. There are some tracks and they are marked before you download that say that you will actually show up as a copyright infringement 
management, but you just need to manually get that rectified, which they do have team all around the world to help you with this. So the turnaround time is really, really quick. Now it does say to allow around four hours for that to happen, but it can be as quick as less than an hour to have it turned around as well. But it's really not a problem if you're uploading your video as unlisted first, giving it some time just in case there is a copyright issue that needs to be rectified manually. And then by the time you're ready to release it, all of that will be sorted. And yes, the other big question is, yes, you can still monetize your content and be in the YouTube Partner Program, make money from ad revenue, with this copyright music too, if you're buying it through Licked. Now in terms of pricing, there is a couple of different options depending on if you're looking to go for the stock music on the platform or the commercial music licensing. So access to the unlimited stock music on there is $15 per month, whereas the chart or the commercial music starts at $8 per track ranging up to $330 per song. And it says here, our pricing structure is based on the average views your recent video uploads have received. So when you sign up and create an account and it's linked to your YouTube channel, Licked is looking at the data from your last 50 videos and it takes an average of the video views that your videos are getting in that time period. So from there, they take an estimate and that dictates how much an individual track is going to cost you. So if your average views per video from your last 50 videos is around 50,000, then you'll be paying $8 for that track. Now that track you can download and use once, one time in that specific video. So this isn't a subscription model, you will be paying each time you want to use that track in a separate video. But you can still make edits to that, you can trim it down, you can repeat sections of that track in your video, but it is only to be used once in that video. And probably the only real restriction you have with that is that you can't remix that track into something else. Now, if you are doing branded or sponsored content, the pricing does go up quite a bit, so you'll also wanna take that into consideration. So I love that Licta making this whole process super simple and also ridiculously cheap as far as I'm concerned. So those are my top three options right now. Artlist, Epidemic Sound and Licked. Strongly recommend you jump to their websites, check them out, have a listen and see what music is going to fit for your types of videos and even jump on a trial version and give them a go. So for us at Primal Video and what we use in our videos, we actually use a mix of both Artlist and Epidemic Sound for our YouTube content. Now that doesn't mean that you need to go and sign up for multiple platforms, but personally because these two make the licensing super simple, it makes sense for us to have access to more music. So if one of them doesn't quite have the music that we're after, then we've got access to an entire extra library there as well, which probably will. Now at the time of filming this, we haven't used any commercial music from Licked yet on our YouTube channel. I think it's an amazing offering. I think it is something that we'll be experimenting with in the near future. But yeah, I can't believe how simple and straightforward they've made the whole commercial licensing thing. Well done. And again, let me know your thoughts and what you're currently using down in the comments. So now that you've got your stock music sorted, check out the video linked on screen where we take you through the best websites for royalty-free stock footage to help you level up your videos even further. I'll see you in there.